All right, so DuckTales Remastered comes out today, and I think the first thing I'm going to do is watch a couple reviews. First, Polygon. There's no doubt there's a lot of fondness for the original DuckTales game on NES. Buddy, you ain't kidding. Plenty of people consider it one of the best games on the platform. It's in my top 10 with Super Mario Bros. 3 and Punch-Out. And it makes a lot of sense why Capcom would want to come back and remake it with DuckTales Remastered. Shut up and take my money! Unfortunately, it's awful. DuckTales Remastered is essentially the NES game, but with a few key improvements. They completely redid the graphics, as well as the soundtrack, and they also added a new tutorial level at the very beginning of the game. That's what a remaster is. Apart from those though, the gameplay is completely unchanged from the original. Good! That's exactly what we want. One of the things that Remastered focuses on is fleshing out the story of DuckTales. The original game on NES basically had no backstory. You were thrown into each of these levels without any preface whatsoever. Why is Scrooge on the moon? You have no idea, but he's just there. He's having a good time. The story was about Scrooge getting more treasure than Glom Gold. In Remastered, actually all of this is explained with cutscenes that happen before each level starts. All these cutscenes are actually voiced by the original characters from the cartoon, which is really cool. Yes, it's very cool. They also fill in some of this backstory you didn't really know you cared about before. I knew I cared about it, and I do now. These cutscenes actually match the tone of the series really well, for good and for bad. In hindsight, the series was really not funny. The show wasn't about laughs, it was about adventure. For example, in one scene, one of the Beagle Boys gets hit on the head with a large mallet and proclaims, Now that's what I call a stomach ache. Seriously, these are the jokes we're dealing with. And then Scrooge says you were hit in the head, you moronic marauder. It's a Disney cartoon. So while the writing doesn't seem to have gotten that much attention, the artwork definitely has. All of the characters in the game, from the enemies to Scrooge to his friends, are hand-drawn in amazing 2D sprites that really look like they bring this entire world to life. Awesome! Hand-drawn sprites? I'm in. Tiny little details like Scrooge's spats are recreated, as well as these little animation touches. So they basically nailed all the presentation in this game. It looks great, it sounds great, I can't wait to play this game. Well, the writing's not great, but pretty much everything else they nailed. Sweet! I can't wait to play this! And then we get to the gameplay, which is uh, really not good. Wait, what? I love platforming games, even super hard platforming games like Spelunky and Super Meat Boy. And something that those games have are tight, responsive controls. Oh boy, here we go. In comparison, DuckTales Remastered feels stiff and unresponsive. Wait, didn't you just say... The gameplay is completely unchanged from the original. Controlling Scrooge often feels like a major chore. Oftentimes I tried to do one thing and the game would do something completely different. What, like killing your character when you've made a mistake? Yeah, that doesn't happen in games. It was tremendously frustrating and often led to my death when I really didn't deserve it. You jumped on a spiked vine without using your cane. You deserved to die. So these frustrating, unfair deaths are really brutal, especially on the normal difficulty setting. Next you're going to tell me that the easy setting is way too easy. Just dying three times will send you all the way back to the beginning of a stage. Not unlike the original game. And stages can take about 30 minutes to complete. Wow, longer than the original one, which I can beat in like 30 minutes? This is obviously in keeping with the NES version, which was also really hard, but replaying the same level over and over again, just to get to the end boss, is not as much fun as it used to be. It's not going to be. It's revisiting old ground. That's what retro gaming is. There is an easy setting, but this goes too far in the other direction, giving you unlimited lives and double the health. So the game becomes no challenge whatsoever. How jaded are you? But even when I wasn't fighting with the controls, DuckTales feels starkly dull. Most of the enemies in the game just walk back and forth or just hop around in a straight line. It's a remaster of an old Nintendo game. They're not challenging or interesting to fight, they're just annoying. 
They'll even instantly respawn every time you return to the same area. The NES version had this respawning mechanic because of memory issues, but there's no reason to bring this into a modern version of the game. It adds to the difficulty. WayForward seemed focused on recreating the feel of the NES game while updating the presentation. Kind of sounds like they uh, wanted to remaster the original game. If that was their true goal, they accomplished it. I'm uh, pretty sure that was their goal. Unfortunately, these days we expect a lot more from our remakes. Like the giant vampire duck you just showed us? Not the original game! DuckTales Remastered feels chained by the source material. Giant vampire duck! It's boring and dated and frustrating. Giant vampire duck. It really would have been great to see the spirit of DuckTales updated for a new generation. It would have been great, oh no they did! Instead of just giving it a new coat of paint. Giant vampire duck. <laughs>